name is Chelsea Palmer and I am the Downtown Perry's Working President. We have Winterfest happening. We usually do the national competition, but we wanted to keep all the monies local. Um, so we brought in some local carvers and we're doing a people's choice this year. Hi, my name is Jason Bartlett. I'm a professional ice carver. Today I'm working on an angler fish. It's three blocks stacked together. Right now I'm just cutting out a silhouette removing all my outlines. Next I'll be pushing lines back and starting to round this thing out. We call it ice season. We do this all year round, but we have a lot of festivals, demos that we do live in front of people like this, contests, and that's when we travel a lot. So we pretty much say goodbye to our families for, until about the beginning of March. Because if we're home, we're sleeping, that's about it. Personally, my best friend of 25 years, he went to culinary school and met the guy that trained us. And four years ago, he just needed help around the shop, you know, cut nice for him or whatnot. I just kind of slowly weaseled my way into making him teach me how to carve. A lot of times you can't see it till you know, last hour of carving or so. You kind of know where you're going, but you know, you're just hoping you don't make a wrong move. So when it actually comes together and, and is up to your own standards, that's a really good feeling. I am doing a griffin with a bit of a twist on them. Instead of it being the standard um, lion and eagle, I'm doing an eagle head with eagle wings and a fish tail. I picked ice up at college. I went to the University of Akron and I graduated there in culinary arts, uh, but I started out in the engineering program. So one day when I was walking to class, I saw one of the students out back carving ice. And I, as soon as I saw him, I, I knew I was going to do that. And I switched my major pretty much that next day. This one's got some skill level to it because I am splitting the wings and stacking it up to have a little bit more dimension than just having more of a wall style carving. It's different doing something on site for carvers as well. So it's a little bit more challenging because you don't have your studio around you. Um, you have to deal with weather conditions. On the upside, you can do things that are much more explosive and more three-dimensional without having to worry about delivering. So there's an upside and a downside to both. But as far as viewing it, you know, you don't get to see it very often. So if you get a chance, you gotta check it out. It's not as nice as you'd like it for winter festivals. 40, what are we looking at, 47 degrees or somewhere around there, 45 degrees tomorrow um, and sunny. That gets tricky for us. Uh, it limits what we can do. We have to pay more attention to structurally sound pieces opposed to very intricate, thin, you know, pieces. So for tonight, uh, this guy's going to turn out to be about a seven foot tall group uh, from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, again, playing safe tonight with the weather temperatures and such, and we wanted to hold for a couple days. So figured the, the strong base going up and then uh, we'll see how crazy I get with it as the sun goes down. Honestly, I think this event is the most amazing thing we do all year. It's one of our biggest events, two-day events, and, um, you know, it really gets all the restaurants, the, you know, local businesses all involved. Hi, I'm Chrissy Vadness, and I'm the shop manager here at the Bar's Coffee in Perrysburg, Ohio. So this one is a peppermint mocha. We're calling it the Winterfell. You know, we love having all the people come downtown Perrysburg. There's so much hustle and bustle. It's my favorite time is when there's events and you get all the local community kind of coming together in celebration of the winter and the cold. And it gets a little busy on Friday nights, but Saturdays is when a lot of the family activities happen. So you see a lot of people walking along around the street and they're just really kind to each other. So I love being here during Winterfest or any of the big events here in downtown Perrysburg. You know, January, February, everyone needs to get out of the house and enjoy some stuff. So why not come out, look at some carvings and enjoy your friends that you haven't probably seen all winter.